me about the panel that you were on today. What was the outtake? I think one of the most important elements is that there are so many opportunities for both, you know, for both large scale and small scale renewable energy in developing nations. So I think it's my, my main outtake is that there is a lot of optimism, there is a lot of hope, and there is a lot of opportunities. There is a clear understanding of the risks, and I can tell that you know there there will be hopefully a lot of solutions coming out. So tell me about the Zayed Future Energy Prize. So the Zayed Future Energy Prize is actually part of the solution for our global challenges. It's an initiative that is launched by the UAE government in 2008. It's an $4 million annual prize to incentivize and recognize achievements in renewable energy and sustainability. So the way it works, we award five distinct categories. Large corporation with a recognition award, $1.5 million for a small medium enterprise, another $1.5 million for a nonprofit organization, a half a million dollar for lifetime achievement, and $500,000 to be divided by five schools from all over the world, which is for the global high schools. So all in all, we award for $4 million for five categories, but we end up having nine winners because we have five schools. And how is it funded? It's funded by the UAE government. It's, it's an initiative by, by the government of Abu Dhabi and supported by the UAE government. And we're very happy that we have some of our winners for 2015 and some of our previous winners with you here at the summit, like you know the keynote by El Gore, who was the recipient of our lifetime achievement in 2015, and, and many others. So why did the UAE establish the yearly prize? They, this prize is, is one of many and several initiatives that the UAE have launched to, you know, as part of our global commitment towards renewable energy and sustainability and to address the global challenges related to energy security, climate change, and, and, and as you know, this is not something that is you know, uh, unique to one country or nation, but we all have a responsibility to do our bit and address these challenges. And, and it is one of, one of them, you know, several initiatives that uh, our leadership have, have launched to in that, in that matter. Tell me about the impact the prize has had. It's phenomenal. It just makes me feel so proud and so happy and so excited to be part of this, like, you know, in, in, in very, very short time, because we were launched seven years ago. So in seven years, the prize has awarded more than $22 million and to almost 40, you know, individuals, organizations, and schools. And the impact of their work has touched the lives of more than 150 million people, you know, by providing clean drinking water, electrifying rural areas, creating green jobs, advancing technologies, and many, many more. And you know, the, you, you see the impact of the prize on empowerment of women, engaging women in the industry, educating the youth. So you see it in, in, in many different elements. Some of it have a social impact, some have commercial, and in an all they will have definitely a positive environmental impact. And how does someone apply? Very, very easy. We have an extremely user-friendly website. You go to www.zfap.ae, which is abbreviation for the Zai Future Energy Prize, and you simply register. And we are open for submission until the 22nd of June, so plenty of time, and we would love to see as many submissions as possible. For the lifetime achievement, we accept nominations. We don't accept submissions. Uh, it says for the other categories, the submissions is simply by opening an account in our portal. Tell me, what is the few highlights of the Bloomberg New Energy Finance Summit? I think one of my main outtakes would be like you come here and in a very you know condensed couple of days, you understand the trends of the industry, you understand what's happening, you you see what, you know what are the key areas that one needs to focus on when, when they are considering either investing, considering implementation, developing technologies. If you don't have time to attend several conferences, you attend this one and you attend Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week and you are set for the year. Great, well, it's very nice having you with us. Thank, Thank you. you very much, it's so nice to be here.